Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about average rates of change. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given our function right here, y equals x squared minus x plus 1, and we have to find the average rate of change over the interval from 0 to 3. And we have our function graphed right there. Now, when we find the interval from 0 to 3, those are the x values, and we need to find the corresponding y values for them. So let's go do that. Let's plug 0 into our equation. 0 squared minus a 0 plus 1. Well, what does that come out to be? Well, 0 squared minus, well, 0 squared is 0, <laughs> minus 0 is 0, and just 1. Well, let's do the same thing for 3 now. 3 squared minus a 3 plus 1. 3 squared is a 9, minus a 3 is a 6, plus the 1 gives a 7. So now we have to use our formula for the average rate of change, our delta y over our delta x. Change of y over change of x. 7 minus 1 over 3 minus 0. 7 minus 1 is a 6, and a 3 minus 0 is a 3. And 6 divided by 3 is a 2. So our average rate of change for this function is, over the interval from 0 to 3, is 2. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.